Hey, Kirk Jung here from LearningGolf.tv. Uh, today, talking a little bit about the history of golf instruction and why golf is such a difficult game to learn for so many people. About 150 years ago, there was the first Open Championship contested in about around 1860, and there were eight players in the field, and one of them was old Tom Morris, who you see here. He finished second, actually, in the first Open, and then he won it on four occasions. Uh, but these gentlemen were also the ones who were teaching the game, and it began back then that let's just teach what we do. The best players in the world at that time uh, sat up with their hands close to their body, as you see here uh, in old Tom Morris. This is also one of the earliest golf swing videos. And he sat up with the hands close to the body, and at impact, he returned on a different plane. You can see the red line I just drew there. And it's a steeper plane, and the club is in alignment with his right arm at impact. So, of course, future pros like Harry Bodden also learned the same thing. They set up with, you can see where I marked the red line on the elbow, uh, above the plane of the shaft, and then at impact, it becomes an alignment perfectly, the club through to the elbow. And this was passed on from generation to generation, as you see here with Bobby Jones. And you could see his right arm coming in from above the club, and... It's at an angle, I drew a line where the elbow is. The problem is, at impact, as in all golf swings, that elbow will be in perfect alignment with the golf club, which necessitates compensation. So you need to compensate for that. And only the people you see on tour and these champions learned how to do it better than anybody else. But from two million golfers starting every year, uh, you see that it's not very successful for most golfers. Of course, there's always going to be some that are better because of natural talent and practice and hard work hitting millions of golf balls. But for the poor guy at home who's trying to copy these guys, it's virtually impossible to become good at. So luckily, uh, there is a solution, which I'm going to show you shortly. Here you see Arnold Palmer on the left and Jack Nicklaus on the right, champions of the 50s, 60s, 70s. And Jack Nicklaus also won in the 80s. And you can see uh, the setup as well as at impact, you can see the change that happened, just like before, nothing's really changed. The basic reason golf has been taught this way forever, so let's just teach it like this. Uh, there, it develops always a few great players from the millions that begin each year. Take a look at Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. Mickelson, I flipped the video, so he's right-handed in this video. And you can see the elbow way above the shaft plane at setup. But at impact, you'll see, uh, once again, perfect alignment of the club and the right elbow. Well, you can see, draw a line along the shaft. Every player is there. Every golfer, you are too. Uh, it's just getting there and squaring the club face, which is difficult. So looking at Rory and Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy on the left, Dustin on the right. And again, you're going to see the same thing, set up with the hands low, impact, and they all look a little bit different, compensating for the setup. And at impact, though, you see the alignment. One player, Bryson DeChambeau, used physics to find out how to best swing a golf club. And lo and behold, he sets up with his right arm on the plane of the club at setup. And then you can see going back, and coming down, swinging on plane is very easy. It's far simpler to swing a golf club this way. And you can see impact is also on the plane he's set up on. So it's basically just set up for impact. This would make the game way easier for anybody learning to play golf. And anybody who currently plays golf, switching over to this makes the game far easier. You do have to get used to it. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but most people hit the ball better very quickly. Here you see me, Kirk Junge, and I've been using this concept myself for around 20 years, have taught both conventionally and set up for impact. And you can see I set up also with my right arm on the same plane as the golf club. And when I take the club back, you can see it's perfectly on the same plane I set up on at the top. 
with a simple turn of the body back and back down, you see the club come right down the plane and return to impact on the same plane that I set up on. So it really is that simple, just getting set up on your impact plane, getting set up with the trailing arm on the same plane as the golf club. And one of the main concepts is the alignment and orientation of the golf club to the trailing right arm for right-handed golfers, which puts it in a position where it doesn't need to pronate in order to square the golf club. So people, pronation is rotation of the arm, uh, and most people are forced to pronate in the impact in order to square the golf club because of their right arm position at setup. So we put the arm in a non-rotational position on the impact plane at setup, and this is one of the biggest keys to better golf shots right away. It will eliminate slicing. And if you follow my set of simple drills on learninggolf.tv, I give you everything from grip to setup to impact and then the drills to get you to a great impact position, which will help you achieve greater distance and consistency. I also have a free learning series available here on YouTube, which shows you the basics as well as an email series on my website, which currently has over 30 video lessons uh, for free. You just have to give in your email. The link's below in the box. If you want to get started fast with all the information, I have a very inexpensive membership as well, which allows you to also submit videos for my review so I can help you to customize this information to fit your own game so that you can learn as quickly as possible. And you'll be shocked at how inexpensive the membership is. So visit my website today. I feel that this is so simple, just learning to get set up on plane for a lot of you is going to help you hit the ball better right away. Uh, if you follow my drills, it will help speed it up. And just uh, visit today, learninggolf.tv. Please like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Thank you very much and have a great day.